So family, uh, we're still here at the Village Museum in Dar es Salaam, our fourth museum on our journey of a lifetime. And we're gonna catch up to our tour guide. It's a whole lot of incredible presentations and details, a lot of information. And this museum is perfectly situated in the city itself. As you can see around it, tall buildings, and you have a whole uh, complete setup on the other side, which is restaurants and this drum and dancing and other cultural aspects of things. And what you're gonna also see is a whole lot of constructions and upgrades being worked on. Are we gonna be go? Are they gonna give us a nice performance at the end? Uh, yeah, people are gonna come out drumming and dancing and doing all kind of things. Like in one Africa? Uh, similar, absolutely. Our tour guide brother us uh, hold on, hold on. And uh, we love to go inside, it's just uh, we're limited on lights. I don't need one. I used to make those when I was a kid. <laughs> uh, you talking about the, uh, the wood? Like Cynthia's place at uh, at Bag. Yeah, just uh, you know, people sit around. What were we playing though? I don't care what you think about it. They put that mud up here. Yeah, creative architecture. Right? How much ventilation there is in this? Right? It's incredible, man. It's like, I went to one like this in Kenya. How much you stop a lion from walking his ass up in there? So you have your perimeters. You think so? Yeah. Keep the lions out? Yeah. <laughs> the lion could go in there and grab the baby and be gone. <laughs> like, you need a rock. I think they got a few. Over. over the centuries. You know? They like the ones with the big afros too. With the twists. This your second time being there? Uh, third time. All the museums we've been at uh, three times. Uh, what's too high? Our uh, divorce rate is too high and it's not working what we're using in the West. So we, we might have to re revisit. <laughs> that's uh, the good thing about the historical cultures. Uh, things, you know, worked in that system. And in Tanzania, everything is in English oh, and Swahili. Oh, um, creepy, oh, come on, hey, son. What, what's so creepy about the place? Centipedes, ants, red ants. So you, you think? So something is attacking you? Yes. So let me guess. That's a swimming pool. That's an ancient swimming pool. <laughs> Nothing is bothering you. What, what centipede boy? Uh, Jumo, um, I did a tour guide get stuck in there or he went somewhere else? Let me see.
This one's a little more modern. You have asked me about that construction. It's a pool, right? No, it's not a pool. <laughs> they are going to, like, to set the house according to the geographic location of the area. And the, uh, you see, so when you will come, for instance, you come to, to from the Sofati land, Mount Kimanjaro, you can see Mount Kimanjaro, yeah. mm -hmm. but we say you are welcome to the Sofati land, Mount Kimanjaro, so you can see uh, these tribes, they are found in, uh, Chaga and the other tribes we are mentioning there. So we enter in the Mount Kimanjaro. And the same, same like this place, uh, so you see the uh, Indian Ocean, but the house which are located, the tribes which are located in the Indian Ocean, you can see them here. Yeah. So that's what we are going to set it. Yeah. Because before it was built in London, nowadays we are starting setting according to the geographic location. It's like they are going to construct like an ocean. Uh, uh, still alive. Miripet. Miripet. Millipede. Centipede, millipede. You can see the current Prime Minister of Tanzania now, current Prime Minister of Tanzania, Kasim Ayariwa Kasim, is belong to this tribe of Mwera from Rindi Mtwara. Oh. And the Mwera follow matrilineal system. Mami, she's the boss of the family and the hospital family's mother. And the Mwera built a big house according to the population of the family. There is boys room, girls room, Parents and the living room is very big. So, yeah. And uh, during those days, as I said before, we couldn't have cloth. The cloth was made from Inabaka tree known as ficus tree, mm -hmm. or the scientific name is called the ficus thoningi. They take Inabaka tree, then they put on the water, they take a maret, they humming by using a maret, then they make soft cloth like this. This cloth was special for boys and the girls virgin during initiation or ceremony or after marriage period. Below 13 years old, they stay naked, no clothes. Then they cover this side and this one. Now, this is a bed sheet that's made from Inabaka tree. This one, this bed sheet. Mm. That's a what? Bed, bed sheet. Bed sheet. So it keeps them warm, do a yeah. cool, and keeps them cool, do this. And the ears, Karabash. It's from the pumpkins, yes. but not exact pumpkins. It's kind of pumpkins. They used for storage water, milk, local beer, and the other liquid form. And the here, it's a, they had a special for shaping tools, but handy hole for farming. Right. And the scoop for fetching water, and the strainer. That's a strainer for filtrating local beer, juice, and the others. This is a key. That they open the close the door. Does anybody stay upstairs? So, no. So you see, the look is far. Uh, this kind of is where the vaulted ceilings and the houses come from. Yeah. Well, they <laughs> keep the pool there. Uh, mm -hmm. This yeah. house was built here in 1966. Mid now, but we renovate it every every year after two years we'll innovate it and the now starting in 1966 until now you can see how many years yeah. more than 50 i think years. Uh, but uh, migration each tribe was migrating from somewhere for instance and the others were started during 15th century migrating from other places for instance maasai Maasai was migrated from South, uh, South Africa, uh, not South Africa. You see, from 
Where, where, where? Ethiopia. Yes. Ethiopia. Yes, Ethiopia. Masai. And they reached in, in Sudan, yeah, the place called Khartoum. Therefore, from Khartoum, they passed in Sahara Desert and they reached Kenya. From Kenya, they spread in Tanzania. That's why you say Maasai is like a wild beast. They migrate sometimes in Kenya, sometimes in Tanzania. So you can't know who's a Maasai in Tanzania and who's a Maasai in Kenya because they speak the same language, Ma language. And the Maasai can take the fresh blood from the neck of the cow for yeah. drinks and for food. Right. So here they keep a pigeon. This pigeon is there as a source of food. That's a source of food? Yeah, it's a source of food. Outside here, there is no darkness, so maybe we should probably take a picture. Just smell it. Yeah. Many of Saramo is Muslims. They're involved in fishing activities, hunting, and keeping a few cows and the cat. Meow! They keep it. But in Zaramo, uh, the house is burned a type when it's full glass from bottom to top. Middle is the buffalo glass. Top is the elephant glass. So buffalo glass is like a soft glass that allows air to pass it through and to keep cool inside of the house. In Dar es Salaam here, when you are outside, you see it's hot. But when you enter inside of the house, you see it's cool. Why? Because of this gas. In the house self container, there is bathroom, special for men, women, and the children take shower outside. Now it's darker. Okay. Let's look. I love to show you inside, but it is super, super dark. It's too dark. Oh, you can see a little bit uh, this, uh, we are low on lighting. <laughs>